my name's Gabrielle Bundy Cook and I'm the proud owner of Spectra. My vision for my place is to deliver the ultimate personal encounter that impacts on people to achieve a life of excellence and success. That's my ethos, that's my vision. To do that, I have to teach them to do it. The young staff member that comes in here and they've never done a shampoo and they achieve their first shampoo and wow, and they see the big kids and they're doing cuts and colours and wow, I'm going to do that. If we didn't train them, how would they ever live the dream? They wouldn't stay here. They know that there's a future in training. I train. Every week I'm doing some sort of training, either in a reading matter, watching DVDs. I went to London last year to Vidal Sassoon. I actually don't need to go and learn how to do a haircut, but I want to. I'm hungry to know more and to grow, because if I don't do it, they won't do it. What I get out of hairdressing is basically the um, satisfaction of making people happy. Definitely seeing the regular ladies that come for my weekly blow waves and just chatting and catching up. The staff that I work with, we're all really, really close. We all hang out on the weekends and just having close relationships with everyone. It's a social job and it's, yeah, it's great fun. Everyone is underestimates what hairdressing is. I think it's absolutely amazing. We don't get enough credit for what we do. We pour our lives and our just everything into it all. I saw what I gave out I was getting back and how it satisfied the young staff or the young people that I was training. Training to me is not just doing a haircut, it's not just teaching them how to look after a client, it's the big picture. I love to teach them how to respect themselves. Training for Spectra is every day, really, so we're learning off each other, off our clients. Structured training is once a week usually and that would be one-on-one -on -one with myself and the apprentice. While they're at their training provider, I back that. So whatever they're doing at college, they're doing here in the salon. We'll just focus on what they're comfortable with and just expanding their skills. It can be anything to, you can have a client in or just mannequins out the back and it could be curling, it could be blow waving, it could be setting, it could be just, yeah, everything. I suppose it's having someone that believes in you, that, that knows that you can do it um, and just, a good um, training system in the salon, that's probably the biggest thing. You're continuously training throughout the day, like you're watching someone apply a colour or you're watching a new cutting technique. And it's just really nice when the seniors have got some downtime saying, hey guys, do you want to go to some magazines for competitions? And, you know, picking their brain about lots of little stuff. There's so much to, to learn from another stylist. Um, some of the, even the younger staff, they can be so inspiring because they're so fresh. I have learnt so, so much, just getting to know everyone's personalities, working with a team, um, growing with hairdressing knowledge and foiling, just everything. The clients benefit hugely. They can guarantee when they come in here, they will not have anybody cutting their hair that hasn't been on the floor and done everything else prior in a four year period. The clients know what they're getting is quality. Clients know that when they have something done with us, it will be done under supervision, if it's done in a training capacity. If it's done as a senior qualified staff, they're going to get quality. They're going to get um, value for their dollar. If you go straight to college and um, you learn hairdressing as a full-time student that way, it's a bit harder to get into a salon and then get a job. I would personally say get yourself into a salon, um, you know, and then that way you're employed right from day one, you're getting paid, you're having a job, and you're learning, you're experiencing, working with clients right from day one. And also you're working with the whole environment of everything, you're already in the salon, you've got your training, you're stable. I definitely think you need to be focused and organised. Well, they need to have uh, dedication. Someone that can really relate to all mixes and walks of life. They need to have good mental attitude. You just need to have the huge passion for hairdressing. If you're really passionate about hairdressing, then you'll, you'll get through it no matter what. I definitely love the competitions. Um, it's amazing. I love the live shows. Haven't done as much photographic as what I would be confident with, but I definitely want to strive towards that. I did um, two competitions last year, the Hair Dreamers, which is a Palmerston North local competition and then I did the original competition, I gained two second places so I was so stoked for myself to this year as a supreme year so definitely it's a national competition and I'm definitely going to be going this year. I basically won here in Palmerston North at the regional level um, with another girl from my salon and we both went up to the national level in Auckland 
and um, we competed there nationally. When I won, I was just I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, walking off the floor was the best feeling I think I've ever had in my life. They like to have a financial reward, of course, but the bigger reward for them is a trophy. A bigger reward for them is the community out there seeing them in the newspaper, giving them praise, the people being proud of them. We quite often win quite a few awards at the regional comps and we have it out in the window. It's something to definitely aspire for us young ones. That's the Y generation. You know, they want to aspire to be number one. The, the opportunity for young people today within an industry or any apprenticeship, modern apprenticeship, whatever it might be, is huge. I've just got to tell them to grab it and get them to believe in themselves. There's endless opportunities that hairdressing can provide. You can work for big companies, you don't have to be in a salon. Travel is huge, I've done a bit myself working on cruise ships. The photography, the competitions, owning your own salon. You could train, if training is your passion, tutoring. Give them the fun days, take them to Hair Expo in Sydney, take them to team building days, take them to Wellington to workshops, take them to Auckland competitions. That's what it's about. It's giving them a future. Haito to me are my foundation. They set the standard and they say to me, will you rise up to it? Yes, I will. They're the benchmark for me by which to train my staff. And they're just getting better and better every year. I see a new uh, training books come out today that I've just spied. And it is awesome. It's spot on. It's evidence there with the training book. Love it. Perfect. Hi Tara, really supportive. They're always offering new courses and skills. Everything is to industry standards. HOT, I set it right out there, which is really, really good. Without HITO, we don't have an industry. There's many industries out there, or there's many careers that don't have a body of people that actually care about where they're going.